Good evening everyone. This is kind of going to be the final build video of my zombie apocalypse ammo can solar accumulator or solar generator in some parts of the world. I say a build, it's kind of built. Um, it's completely finished other than uh, um, uh, a mains charging input. It was kind of quite difficult to film the build because it was very very uh, sporadic on and off here and there and everywhere so I just figured it's best to get on with the build of the thing and just show the overview once it's finished uh, now this is I think designed for 50 caliber ammunition it's a fairly good size I can't remember the dimensions but it's about 14 inches or so across this way about um, 7 by about 10 you can do the metric conversion yourself it's got about 360 watt hours of 18650s um, which are configured as a 16, th uh, 16 parallel and 3 in series so 3 in series 16p um, around 35 amp hours of um, capacity at nominal 12, uh, 10.8 volts so it's got some fairly reasonable capacity to it it's not going to set the world alight and let's hope it doesn't catch itself alight but it's designed really for camping or just emergency power um, and for that kind of um, use it's absolutely perfect for what I need like I said it's fully assembled I've completed the wiring there's an awful lot in this little space um, and I'm going to need to do a little bit of cable management but basically I've got a 500 watt inverter in the bottom um, effectively a um, boost regulator which is also a small inverter really this is taking the nominal battery voltage up to 13.4 volts for one of the cigarette lighter outputs um, the whole lot is controlled by a solid state relay which is this doohickey here there are two of these 3 amp hour um, charger units here and here um, these are pseudo MPPT for the solar input um, it's got a fuse box, got four fuses in there, um, the 235 amp blade fuses there are what fat powers the inverter and then there's a 20 amp and a 15 amp, those um, power the other devices on here. Um, and the battery pack is buried down the back there, it's right underneath. It's got a 100 amp hour BMS which controls the battery, it's balancing and it also will manage the charging as well. So it's kind of all there. I've also left on a test port so that I can put on one of those sort of like hobby um, RC car type balancers so I can just check the condition of the cells. Um, like I said, it's pretty much done. I've just got a little bit of cable management to do. Unfortunately, this thing here requires the main battery positive lead to go through here, otherwise it can't measure the um, any of the current capacity, you know, the, any of the power requirements. In the lid, I've got USBs. This one here is a QC3. This one's a standard USB. And then I've got another USB down the bottom. Um, I've got 5.5 uh, by 2.5 um, outputs here. Um, as well that is going to be for like tent lighting and that sort of stuff the the fan here draws air right through the cells these are the um, solar inputs I'm going to put another input here which will be on um, an XT60 which will be the mains charge input um, these will take 50 watts of solar cells each um, so it can charge at 100 watts which doesn't sound very much but over the course of a day is should be sufficient for what I want on the top we've got the power unit here which is the control this is the brains of the operation this does the over current over voltage under voltage um, and the on off of everything um, it controls the solid state relay which is inside um, this one here is the QC3 this one here is these are all twin outputs so this is 5 volt 2.1 5 point one, you know so you've got basically four 5 volt 2.1s and then two QC3s. Um, I've not tested those to full capacity. I don't have anything that I can do that with, but um, I've run two phones on it. It seems to power them just fine. This is 
just 12 volt outputs or nominal battery voltage outputs they're not boosted all the items are individually switched um, I did that really just to reduce the drain because these all consume power so it seems pointless to them consuming power when they're not doing anything for their consumption on the end I've got an inverter this is like I say 500 watts um, effectively it's probably close to 300 watts continuous they're always over egg the ratings on these it's not um, um, a full sine wave it's just a simulated sine wave um, here this is the switch for this output here this one is boosted this one here is nominal battery voltage um, I've not fully tested everything yet I have tested this um, it does seem to work so to make this thing work you just press the OK button and when that right lights up red it means the power is on and the power is going out of the batteries so we come around to this side um, I've got a works charger it's the only thing I could grab um, that is suitable current for this this will work it pulls about 50 watts so switch that on um, interesting I've not noticed that it's obviously on a PWM uh, this is charging quite happily go up to the meter it's showing 5.8 amps and we're running battery voltage at 11.4 interesting enough this is 100 percent um, it's either not calibrated quite right or it's got to be cycled up and down a few times before it works out what the battery um, charge rate is but um, that's not charging the battery at 5 amps it's charging at about 2 amps but it's certainly charging um, what else can I tell you about it it's got cooling fans which this has got its own fan which draws in through the vents at the bottom here and blows into the case it then vents kind of around the cells um, the fan on the other end which is also running that is drawing air in and that actually passes the air right through the cells through the cell matrix and actually comes out through you can see the cells in there it comes out through the gaps so the way I've designed it is the cells themselves are force fed air um, and the inverter is also force fed air and they both exit through this point here uh, this is boosted to 13.4 volts on the output of this one you can switch this one on and it runs my color changing oh, that's interesting my color changing light it doesn't look like that in real life that's just purely a, an artifact of the, the record of the camera um, and the PWM of the um, RGB LEDs in there all these are all switched um, and they're all individually switched so with everything on it's drawing a whole 6.2 amps which for a 35 amp hour cell pack is absolutely nothing so yes there's not even any need for the cooling but uh, um, it's there for higher demand applications and those cooling fans use virtually nothing anyway so there is a quick overview of my zombie ammo can power accumulator um, i shall be doing a bit more thorough testing at a later date i've got to um, check the solar charging is working i've got to install the mains charge and i just want to check the power to make sure that this thing shuts down when i'm pulling lots of current um, and it does what it's supposed to um, but for the time being this is it it's finished and um, I'll update and do a video when it's test time but up to now thanks for watching